personal fitness trainer. So today, I'm starting a healthy back series. And the reason for it is because almost everybody, at some point or another, can have a challenge with their lower back, causing them pain, discomfort. So uh, I thought it was a good idea to start this series, but I'm gonna be doing it in three parts, one, two, and three, because it could be too long in all in one video. So we're gonna start with the first part of the series. You wanna do it in consecutive order, and it'll work if you do it. So in a moment, we're gonna get started with part one. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to find your neutral back position while you're lying on your back with your knees bent. And the neutral back refers to the position you are in when your back is causing you the least amount of pain. So for the first exercise, what you're going to do is you are going to maintain your neutral back and you're going to tighten the muscles in your buttocks and squeeze them and hold them taut for 10 second count and then you're going to release and you're going to continue this process of tightening and releasing six times all exercises six times okay now we're going to the second exercise and you see I start you have a neutral back I started with my arms overhead and I drop one arm back at a time and I'll hold it back for a count of five seconds. Drop it back, count for five seconds. Bring it, and again, six times. This is the one leg slide. You want your neutral back position, and you can do this better in stocking feet. You notice I'm what I'm doing is I'm slowly sliding one heel away from your body until your leg is straight and then you slide it back and I am alternating you're doing this six times all right the next exercise is called marching and I am lifting my leg my foot up about six inches my legs are still bent and I'm holding it for a count of five each time counting five seconds and other side, count for five. You're doing six reps. And these all affect your lower back. This is the one leg slide. You want your neutral back position? And you can do this better in stacking feet. You notice I'm what I'm doing is I'm slowly sliding one heel away from your body until your leg is straight. And then you slide it back and I am alternating. You're doing this six times. All right, the next exercise is called marching and I am lifting my leg, my foot up about six inches. My legs are still bent and I'm holding it for a count of five each time, counting five seconds. And other side, count for five. You're doing six reps, and these all affect your lower back. All right, this is marching with hand raising. And so now you're gonna incorporate your arm and your foot opposite. So I'm lifting up that foot and lowering that arm back for a count of five. So here you are, one, two, three, four, five, back up to the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Bring the arm back up and you go for six times with a five count each time. All right, next one is straight leg raises for a count of five. Flex foot. So start from the bottom, lift that leg up no higher than knee height 
the other one, lift it up to the knee, count one, two, three, four, five. Put it back down, alternating it. And we starting at the bottom. Oh, that one I really like. That one feels really good on your lower back. So here's how I want to end this video. Let you know what's going to be on video number two because it's very important. You don't want to miss anything in this series. Okay, I just don't want a hugely long video. So next is level two. It's called Williams Flexion. And here's what it says. Williams Flexion exercises decrease the compressive load to the posterior invertible disc and also open the invertible foramen. And these exercises consist of four stretching activities and they're going to be on the next video exercises 7 through 10 that's a continuation and four strengthening activities which are exercises 11 through 14. Then on that video I'll tell you what the last step is, which is smaller. So anyway, you definitely want to stay tuned because if you really want to help your lower back, you need to put it all together. Okay? So anyway, until um, next time, I'll see ya.